everyone welcome back to my channel hope you all are well and hope you all are doing great my name is Ezinma and today I'm going to be trying out my heel products um, so these are PR items and I just thought I should you know share the whole tasting and review of these items um, I shared an unboxing video if you haven't seen it yet please do not forget to click the link in my bio to check out the unboxing of all the items so first things first if you're new to this channel hello and welcome I hope you guys will stick around I share videos centered around motherhood lifestyle product reviews hauls and so much more do check out my channel you might find something that you love watching and also subscribe to my channel please make sure you hit the like button and comment down below as well as hitting the notification bell so you can get instant notifications each time I share a new video and to my returning subscribers thank you so much for coming back to check out my new video so today I'm going to try the Huel black edition because I've never tried the, the Huel Black Edition before and I will also try the Thai Green Curry that's this one right here so I've got my shaker I've got my Huel Pot here I will also try out the Huel Bar so this one is the chocolate orange um, I decided to try the Huel Bar for this video and I will be adding one of um, the Heal flavor boosts into my drink. So I'm going to try the Heal Black Edition first. I'll taste it, tell you guys about it, and then I'll add this flavor boost into my Heal Black Edition and see if the, the flavor changes, if it tastes better or worse, whatever the case may be. I'll let you guys know. So, first up, I'm going to mix it. So all you need to do is tear the bag. Um, I've already washed my scoop. I got four scoops in the PR packet so I washed one of them. So this is how the product looks inside. I don't know if you guys can see it but it is brown inside. Yeah this is how it looks. Okay so on the body it says add 510 ml cold water to shaker um, or fill to the line inside. Okay, add two scoops of heel and shake hard for 10 seconds or until smooth. So I'm just going to add one scoop of my heel because I really do not want to drink so much. So one scoop is about 200 kilocalories. Okay, so I think um, for the one scoop, I'm going to add. 250 ml of water so I've got my water so this is 250 ml then I'm going to add one scoop of the Huel Black Edition so you just use the bag to kind of level your scoop so this is about one scoop yeah I'm going to add it into my water you can leave your scoop in the bag so that you you can easily reach out for it whenever you want to make another scoop and you close this okay and of course give it a good shake for 10 seconds according to the packaging that's what they said you have to do it's really thick so I've just given mine a shake and I've noticed that my heel looks quite thick. So yeah, of course you can add some ice if you fancy some ice. I do not have any ice right now, so I haven't put any ice in here. But you can definitely put ice and I heard it's really tasty when you put ice. And also if it's too thick for you, you can add more water. So I'm going to taste it now. Mm. it tastes thick it has some chewy bits in it's not smooth at all it's really chewy and um, it 
it tastes nice it tastes nice and chewy um, it doesn't taste too sweet and it doesn't taste bland it does have a nice taste but it has chewy bits and um, it seems like it is filling and of course if I want it a bit more watery I can add more water or I can add ice to make it nice and cold and um, yeah it is nice I like the taste of this one I'm going to have another sip again it tastes good so I'm going to add this Huel flavor boost into my Huel to see what sort of taste it will have so the first one that I picked was the strawberry flavor so I'm going to add strawberry flavor into my Huel to take the taste to a whole new level pour your flavor boost in and then close it I'm not sure if you guys can see can you guys see what I'm doing I just closed it right now so my flavor boost is in here I'm going to give it a shake again so this is how it looks with the flavor boost so I'm going to taste it mm. I like the taste of it when you've added the flavor boost it tastes of strawberry now because I added the strawberry flavor boost and it tastes really good um, so definitely definitely try this out guys if you've never tried it out it is nice I plan to eat better and this is the nutritionally complete so this will make a very good breakfast when I'm in a hurry and I need to dash out of the house or even now that I'm home homeschooling the kids um, this will be a very good breakfast for me to have in the morning so the next item I'm going to have right now is this one so this one is the Thai green curry and I've heard a lot about this one and so I'm so excited to try it out I'm going to give it a go now but the first thing they said I should do is to shake the bag so I'm going to shake the bag give it a good shake and I'm going to mix it now so I'm going to boil some hot water ready for this one so the Hill Black Edition has more protein in it. Um, it has 26 essential vitamins and minerals. It's got kombucha. Um, it is naturally sweetened. And it also has probiotics and prebiotics, which is fantastic. So this one will be good if you are on a low carb diet. This will be so good. The Black Edition will be so good. So I plan to maybe swap my breakfast with this drink i feel like it will help me so much and then if i'm feeling hungry for lunch i could have this thai green curry or for dinner i could have this but the good thing about huel is that it will fill you up um, it will give you more energy because it is nutritionally balanced so you're not even going to lack anything it is better by far better than junk food and even some of your healthy meals um, this is even better than your healthy meals because this one has everything like the complete package but your healthy meal might you know be deficit of some you know some vitamins or some minerals and stuff but this is really good I'm really excited about it and it will help you know so much so yeah let me make this one now so the next meal I'm going to make is the Thai green curry and I'm just going to tear this open you just have to tear the bag open easily like that so this is how it looks inside mm, it smells like Thai green curry mm, I can't wait to try this out because it actually does smell nice so for the Thai green curry it is gluten free nutritionally complete food with rice quinoa and vegetables okay so to make to make it you have to add 210 ml of water boiling water and stir thoroughly cover and leave for five minutes or you can add 250 ml of water and stir thoroughly cover and microwave on full power for one minute 30 seconds um, stir recover and microwave for one minute 
stand for five minutes. So the tips, if you want to be precise, use scales to weigh your heel. So I'm going to try boiling water method first. Okay, so I'm going to add one scoop. So this is one scoop. I'm going to add it in here. All right. And then I've got my boiling water here. I'm going to fill it up to the line. Okay, I hope that is 250 ml. I'm not even sure. So there, there are no lines to show me if this is 250 ml. So I'm just going to add like this. You need to stir it very well. I don't know if you guys can see it. And then close it. So let this sit here and cook for a bit and um, I'm going to try this this method first with the pot and see if I like the taste if I do not like the taste then I'll try the microwave method so with this one I'm just going to let it sit for five minutes so while I wait for this to cook I'm going to try the Hill complete nutrition bar chocolate orange flavor so let's give it a go so this is really good to have in your bag. So if you are at work and you feel very peckish, you want a snack, um, you can have this. It has 26 vitamins and minerals. It is high in protein. So 12 grams of plant-based protein. It's got essential fats, omega-3 and 6. And it has, and it is gluten-free and vegan. So this is really good if you are you know at work and you need a snack a quick a quick lunch or something you can have your bar your new bar and it is nutritionally complete so that is like the game changer of this whole meal so um i'm going to try this now mm. so it does feel really chewy it tastes like chocolate and orange exactly the flavor um it has a brown layer and then some white chewy bits inside i'm not quite sure what the white bits are um but it is really chewy it can be quite dry on your throat so you have to drink water and um it's a good one it's a good one i mean i can eat this i can eat this happily and it, it doesn't have a bad taste or an aftertaste. So for now, I cannot tell you my best flavor of the Heel Bars um, because this is the first one I've ever tried. I still have a few that I need to try, but maybe in another video I could try those ones. But this one really tastes nice. So this one is the chocolate orange and it tastes good. So guys, I'm about to try this one right now, the Thai curry the Thai green curry and um, it still feels wet this is how wet it looks it's quite watery I can see the water it's not thick at all my Thai green curry is still pretty watery I do not like watery rice so <laughs> I'm not going to make my Thai green curry in this bowl, in this pot, I'm not quite sure. But let's taste it and see. It is really hot. It's really hard. It still tastes really hard. So what I'm going to do now is to mix it again, but this time I will put it in the microwave. I absolutely didn't like the consistency of my heel hot and savory made with the heel pots um, it was quite watery um, i didn't even see any measurements to stop at the 105 ml i'm not sure if you guys can see it very well my camera might not be able to capture this but it's so watery and it just doesn't look done so um making the heel hot and savory in this pot is a no for me I really do not like the consistency at all okay but I've made it 
in my microwave and already I can see how thick it is I don't know if you guys can see the thickness so it's thick and it's thick and creamy it has a kind of creamy consistency really thick it has a bit of a greenish color okay so I'm going to taste it now and I'll let you guys know how it tastes So it's really hot so I made one scoop of the Huel hot and savory Thai green curry powder I made one scoop of this and I added 120 ml of water mmm 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 it tastes really nice to be fair I wasn't sure how this was going to taste if it was really going to be hot and savory but it is hot I can really feel that hotness and it is savory it's quite chewy as well and I think the chewiness is from the rice the quinoa and a bit of the veggies I can see some sweet corns in there as well mm. tastes so nice it really does taste so nice so this will be perfect if you are at work and you want to eat healthy food you're also on a diet you want to watch your weight or something this would be the perfect meal I feel like this would be the perfect meal it's chewy like it, it feels like you're chewing something it has this sort of porridgey consistency um, it's got rice in it, it's got quinoa in it, it's got veggies in it and of course it's got the all the vitamins and the minerals that the Huel um, has, the Huel um, powders have it's got omega 3, omega 6, this is so yummy mm. I can easily replace my lunch with this easily like easily so one scoop is about 200 calories and um, imagine if you have imagine if you have the whole black edition in the morning that's 200 calories and then you have this for lunch another 200 calories you have a bar for snack time let's, let's where's the bar so imagine if you have the bar for snack time that's another 200 calories and maybe for dinner you can try another flavor of the Huel hot and savory flavors that will be about 800 calories so imagine having 800 calories of healthy nutritionally complete food you not only lose weight you'll feel better you'll sleep better you'll be more energetic and it's just going to reflect on your overall wellness so yeah it's brilliant I absolutely love it and of course I'm going to be incorporating all of these into my diet um, I was on the Exante diet and I stopped for a bit because of Christmas but I'm going to also include my heel into my diet and I feel like this is so fantastic and yeah make sure you guys try it out <laughs> The reason why I have this underneath my plate is because the plate is really hot because I put the plate in the microwave so the plate is quite hot and so I just put this on there just in case anyone was wondering so overall I've totally enjoyed all of my Huel products I'm going to share more about the other items I have because I've got the Mexican chili the Madras and the Huel 3.0 which I haven't tasted yet so I'm going to share another review video featuring those other products but i hope you guys have enjoyed this video so please do not forget to like this video comment down below and subscribe to my channel i post videos regularly and i would love to have you as part of my viewers so i'll see you guys in the next one bye